Good morning. So this morning, I wanted to try something a little different. <clears throat> Yesterday I was watching an impact theory video and it was talking about, I can't remember the, the name of the video or exactly who the guy was, but the gist of it was the guy had gone through his own personal trial of depression and extreme success and then losing all that success and then going through his own crazy depressive roller coaster cycles and he was just completely open about it like he had the ability to just simply talk about it rather than creating a script or creating an agenda that he wanted to push on people. So what I want to do, rather than create a script and then attempt to talk about it, is just show up every morning and just talk, basically chat about whatever is happening in my mind, I suppose. And whether that be dead silence for 20 minutes or me going off on a complete tangent for 20 minutes, it really, it just, it is what it is. And if it if it helps someone, cool. And if it doesn't help anyone, cool, whatever. But my main objective is to be authentic and to say what I mean and what I think to, to the best of my abilities. I know when I was in school, I, I always hated seeing people that would stand in front of their PowerPoint presentation and they just, they'd walk up to the, to the projector and stand in front of the, the presentation and they would turn and they would look at their PowerPoint and they would just read it like, word for word off of the PowerPoint. <laughs> and I just sit there dumbfounded. I'm just like, what are you doing? I I can read. Why why are you reading your PowerPoint to me? And and the other thing, uh, their PowerPoints would be in massive slabs of paragraph information and they'd be reading the the paragraph and it was just crazy to me like when you give a presentation you want to put just the main bullet points and the, your main talking points up on the thing up on the slides and then you elaborate on those points The more I could just, n I could never understand how to make things scripted. I I'd always end up talking like a robot or feeling like a robot if I ever scripted my information to people. And I feel like thinking of what I'm going to say in advance is me creating an agenda to push on other people rather than just being here in the present because the present's all we have the past no longer exists and the future is not a real thing 
the future happens in the present always. So it's my hope that creating these videos in the morning and being able to share what's ever on my mind or whatever part of my story or really anything that I want to talk about is that it could become a form of meditation for me. That I can be able to talk about things and then bring myself back to the center of whatever I'm really trying to do and be able to pick and choose my own specific narratives for what I want to do. I think people are starved in this day and age just absolutely starved for authenticity I think it is so often the case that people feel like they're being sold something but the person selling it to them has to bury it in a bed of roses almost as if to say they're not selling it to them but secretly they are and as soon as the intention of someone trying to sell them something comes about then it's no longer a bed of roses it becomes that hidden hidden agenda Another thing I've been trying to work on is being being okay with silence. And what I don't know what I don't know what to say, which <laughs> is a lot of the time. I just instead of mumbling or saying um or uh if uh just attempting to go silent and to gather my thoughts and when my thoughts are gathered and coherent to be able to translate them to other people or just out into the world in a moderately coherent manner. Wow, I really do enjoy this. 
the sound of that lawnmower going off in the background, and uh, I hope you do too. One of the things that I find really interesting is the way in which humans construct narratives for themselves. And how we trap ourselves in our own narratives. <clears throat> this idea that <clears throat> we are a collection of a bunch of stories of all the things we've done in the past but those those stories are not us they are a thing we did but they are not the present they are not the current moment we are no longer doing them they're in the past. They are dead, fixed events. And we as humans who are alive can only live in the present. <clears throat> so it's it's not until we can forget those narratives that we've written about ourselves that you know we are a perfectionist who does everything right and gets straight A's and blah 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 and, or we're not good enough or we're not strong enough or smart enough or whatever it's not until <clears throat> we take a step back and look at those narratives that we are able to say, huh, maybe it's not true, or maybe I can tweak the narrative in such a way that I can get a different outcome, and maybe the outcome will be more favorable towards me. It's not until we question the the foundations of our reality who we think we are what our religion is what our culture is what are the founding pillars of our schema of reality and how does that affect how we see things that we can begin to see things from other people's perspectives that there are other better narratives that we can write or simply just not live in a narrative and live completely in the present day to day taking life as it is a completely fleeting moment that is never promised to you again Anyway, this is not financial, medical, or Aloha Spirit advice. You know the rest. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to dislike and unsub, and goodbye.